Hey guys, Lynn here and welcome back to another Skyrim Special Edition Top 5 Mod video. Today we have 5 mods that are related to buildings. So player homes, single buildings and building related mods. I will probably make a separate video on player homes when we get around to it as well, since there are so many. Of course, all these mods are only available for Xbox One, as a lot of the cool mods have external assets unfortunately. Well guys, let's not wait around and jump into our first mod. First up we have the Temple of Time. This is a simple mod that adds into the game the Temple of Time from The Legend of Zelda. This isn't a player home, although it would be cool if it was transformed into one, but simply a cool place to visit. A nostalgic mod that also adds in some Zelda music too, which is a nice touch and I personally really enjoyed this one having played Ocarina of Time countless times. So once you travel here there's a door that leads you into the temple itself, and inside there's nothing there but there is the Master Sword which you can pick up and then use. So a really cool place to visit plus you get the sword as well and I'm sure there's a mod for the shield at some point coming out as well. So a really cool mod and it's definitely worth checking out, not just if you're a fan of Zelda, but if you're just looking for a cool place to explore. Our next mod is a new player home that is for those of you on the Imperial side of the Rebellion. The Imperial Officer's Villa is a nice player home which is located in the rift east of Iverstead, on an island in the middle of a lake which is really awesome. So what does the house come with? Well, you get a complete smithing area, including forge, grindstone, armour bench, tanning rack and smelter which is all the basic stuff, an exterior boardwalk and bedroom balcony with a lakeside view, a private team of Imperial bodyguards, an Imperial War Room with threatening map markers and 9 shield racks for the 9 holds, a bedroom furnished with Imperial decoration and books, an alchemy room with potions and ingredient storage, a dungeon with torture tools and there's also a dead stormcloak, a kitchen and a dining room equipped with a cooking station, numerous weapon racks, weapon plaques and display cases, 4 functioning armour mannequins, every type of Imperial armour or weapon, light armour, heavy armour, shields, swords, bows, General Tullius's armour and so on a personal collection of Dwemer artifacts, and a private altar with all 8 divines that the Imperials worship. So if any of you guys are playing an Imperial playthrough, or even if you're just looking for a house that's cool, or if you're playing as an Imperial who's a Starcloak spy, don't forget that one, then you can download the Imperial Officer's Villa, an awesome looking house that has everything you need in a player home. Our next mod, while not a building, definitely goes very well with other building mods, especially player homes. Ever felt like you should be able to redecorate your house any way you want? You should be able to move chairs or beds and then be able to use them wherever you want them. Grab, move, store, buy, place, rotate and nudge nearly any furniture and static object with this mod. That's right, this mod allows you to redecorate your home by giving you a spell that lets you pick up and move furniture. So how does it work? Well, you can grab and place furniture using two simple intuitive spells. Grab and move furniture and stack objects and then fix them in place and they will just act and behave as they did before. You can rotate and manually nudge objects to get the exact fitting so they look natural. Once you've picked up an object, you can also sell it if you want to as well at any store. One final really cool thing to remember is that this doesn't just work on things in your home. While most own things cannot be picked up, there is a load of random stuff lying around in towns, cities and the wilderness that can be picked up and taken to your house and placed down. So it's a really cool feature that's quite immersive, you know filling your house with stuff you find on your travels across Skyrim is really really cool. Overall an amazing mod that lets you essentially decorate your homes now the way you want them to be and with items that you may not find in most homes as well. A really cool mod that everyone can enjoy. Our next mod is another cool immersive mod that gives you a new player home and a business as well. In fact the next two mods are both of those things. First up we have Helyarchin Farm. This is a player owned farm that allows you to rebuild a once abandoned property into a functioning farm business. Restoring the farm to its former glory will reward the player with income every day and the ability to harvest crops grown on the farm fields. The farm can be upgraded further with construction of a small meadery and guardhouse allowing you to earn gold from the meadery and the guards will protect your property from thieves. The farmhouse itself has all the regular stuff that you need in a player home, so you can easily live here. As the name suggests the farm is located within the Pale next to Helyarchin Hall and Loreus Farm if you're looking to purchase a house for yourself and start your own farming business. So a really cool mod there and we don't just have one, the next mod is very similar to this one so you can start your own business empire with these mods. Next up we have the Winstead Mine. It's a player owned mine that allows you to transform a bandit infested cave into a profitable mining operation. Construct the mine and its facilities will reward the player with income every day and the ability to extract ore from its vast mineral reserves. The mine can be further expanded by excavating two additional mining shafts which allow access to additional types of ore and a fishery business, as well as hiring guards to protect your property. The mine is located next to Eustingrav north of Morthal, you just fast travel there and it's right next to it. 
To start the adventure if you don't want to stumble across it, you can investigate a destroyed cart and rubble located along the road that leads from Riverwood towards Whiterun. Overall a really cool build, as you can see from the images, you get a lot of stuff in this mod, and this isn't even everything, I haven't finished expanding everything yet, like the fishery and the additional mine shafts. But you get a huge amount of stuff and you can get a good amount of money and ore, and from the farm you get money and you get crops, and I'm sure there are other ones on the way as well, as it's kind of like a mod series these ones. But they're all definitely worth downloading, and it's a really cool way of making money in the game, and also giving you some unique places to live. And hopefully we see more of these similar style mods in the future. Well guys, there we have it, five awesome build mods from the last week or so that you can definitely download and check out for yourself. As always, like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow for another six new mods, and another top five, which is going to be top five cheat mods. I'm going to skip past the character mods, as it's too general of a term, it actually just covers loads of other different mod categories, which we will go over anyway, so don't worry, we won't miss out any kind of mods. Anyway guys, enjoy your day, and I will see you all tomorrow with another video. See you then.